This province, KwaZulu-Natal province, has come full circle after 100 years. It has come from JL to JZ. Now, I don't know, I was saying to Mantra, one of the trustees of the foundation, well, maybe Z being the last letter of the alphabet, maybe it's the end. And he said, no, no, no. Every end brings about a new beginning. And I believe that's where we are now after 100 years. We are at a stage where we are faced with uh, challenges of a new beginning. But as they say, New day, new opportunities. I'm happy to be back to launch the Dube Trade Port project and to unveil the statue of the founding president of our liberation movement, the ANC, Dr. John Langalibale de Dube, after whom this project is named. Moments like this underscore the distance we have come since the founding president of the ANC, John Langalibale de Dube, and his peers established the oldest liberation movement in the continent. The Dube Trade Port has appropriately been named after a man who symbolizes success. We are now realizing to a very great extent Mafuguzela's dream. I don't know if all of us here know what Mafuguzela means. That was John Dube's nickname, which means that is somebody who, who is indulging in futility. It is because he was a daydreamer, and that's the best way to dream, because daydreams, you can get up and realize them. Night dreams, sometimes you even forgotten what you were dreaming about. I hope that the foundation and all those people of goodwill who are concerned or have to be concerned with the legacy of John Dube will be called daydreamers too. In other words, they aren't going to try and act small and maybe they should try to surpass John Duba because John Duba was doing this riding on horseback. Now his cars, his jets, his aeroplanes, his telephones, even mobile telephones. They did not have this infrastructure, but they did big things. We, we cannot do less than what they did. I think it's very good. It's very good. I think it resembles our little also that uh, there is knowledge next to him. He believed in education and knowledge. Uh, I think it's very, very good. Legacies are not about people. Legacies are about humankind. They are not about individuals. They are not even about John Dube's legacy. Is not even about John Dube. It is about what it gives as a benefit to those uh, that he left it to. So that is what the focus of the foundation is going to be. Thank you very much. John Langalibalele Tube expressed eloquently his vision for the regeneration of Africa. He said he was longing for that day. At that time, he saw this Africa you see today. Each day we work to fulfill his wishes and those of all the founding fathers and mothers of this free, non-racial, non-sexist South Africa, which is working towards inclusive growth and prosperity for all. When people who visit the trade port see Dr. Dube's statue, they will be inspired to do better each day to make South Africa a great country. It's a challenge. 
if John Duber started a journey of the past century, the first was to liberate, and this must be to develop. Distinguished guests, compatriots, and friends, it is my honor and privilege to declare the Dube Trade Port officially open. And I thank you.